I think the idea that most people in the West are kind of in the top global 2% is kind of misleading, but kind of has some interesting stuff with it. But um, yeah, you just need to focus on what are the problems, what are really getting in people's way and and go that way rather than go, oh yeah, first world problems, because they're generally spoken from people who don't have that problem. Uh, yeah, Keith, do you have anything you want to add to this super here? Yeah, well, I do think that's an interesting um, idea because um, I think that one reason why we've seen a lot of the social movements in the Western countries that we've seen in recent decades is because those countries reached a level of affluence or a, re a level of uh, post-scarcity where you had time for stuff like that. For instance, uh, it was in the post-war period where for the first time in history, you had a working class that could live like an upper middle class. And that's when you start to see people starting to worry more about all of these social questions, like what about the environment? Or what about gay rights or, you know, and all these kinds of things. And, and in countries where people are starving, they don't really spend much time on that. Um, so I, I do, and, and a lot of these things that a lot of these so-called woke people get into today, like they're worried about, you know, cultural appropriation and microaggressions. And, and, and you know, yeah, that's, I would say those are first world problems. Uh, you know, it's, but um, it is true though, that at the same time, we're starting to see more problems in the United States that are closer to being third world problems. That is, we're starting to see real poverty, uh, people that really do have trouble getting their basic needs met for like food, housing, um, medical care and things of that nature as well. For instance, life expectancy now statistically is declining in the United States. And, and historically that's unheard of for a developed country. Um, you know, we have record level drug overdose rates. Now you could say, well, that's their fault. People shouldn't take drugs. But the, the fact that people are taking drugs to the point that it kills them, you know, why are they doing that? You know, you don't find that in societies where people are generally satisfied with life. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I think that, so I guess I'm kind of in the middle of that. I mean, there are a lot of things people complain about that, yeah, I mean, it seems pretty trivial, big picture wise, but we are starting to increasingly experience problems that are genuine and serious and people should be worried about. Okay. Uh, we got Kay Lewis for Thickness Dollars. Thank you very much. Here you go. And lastly, we have Moose for 9.99 US dollars, Trump on the side. Oh, well, all right. Thank you everybody for